The Edo State Government has called for the support of all stakeholders to sustain ongoing reforms across all sectors of the state. It reassured that the government was committed to realizing the Making Edo Great Again mega agenda and achieving economic prosperity for Edo people. Edo State Head of Service Anthony Okungboa, while speaking in a meeting with different workers' union in the state, noted that ongoing reforms by Governor Gordon Obaseki led administration would improve the livelihoods of the people, ensure sustainable growth and development, and achieve a progressive and prosperous state. The unions included the state chapters of the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, Trade Union Congress, TUC, National Union of Teachers, NUT, and Joint Negotiating Council, JNC, among others. Reassuring the government's commitment to improving the state's civil and public service for effective and efficient service delivery, Okungboa was quoted in a statement to have urged the unions to support the government's drive to reposition in the service. The head of service stated that the meeting was aimed at strengthening the unity that exists between the government and the organized labor, adding that the industrial harmony that we have in the state today is because of the cooperation that exists between the government, organized labor, and various unions. This has helped in deepening the gains recorded by the government across all sectors of the state. He further noted that the government placed emphasis on critical sectors of the state, including infrastructure, education, manpower, development, and physical planning, among others. Noting that the government had recruited over 300 personnel in the first phase of the ongoing recruitment exercise into the state's civil and public service, Okumboa said, the recruitment was done strictly on merit as the most competent and qualified hands were brought into the service. The government has concluded plans to further employ more hands in the coming year. The government has plans to retrench workers, but has put measures in place for the training and retraining of every adult worker to enhance effective service delivery, he added. We are moving forward. The world is moving forward and the civil and public service in Edo State cannot afford to lag behind, he said. On the part of the TUC chairman, Marshal Ure, JNC chairman Osiamaye Godwin and the secretary, Edo NLC, Barry Imade, were said to have hailed Obaseki for prioritizing the reform of the state civil and public service. Obaseke has been doing a lot of um, reforms, carrying out a lot of reforms um, in the public and the um, civil service in Edo State. A lot of rejiggling, you know, he's been talking about. And that was one of the things he said that delayed his appointment, the appointment of um, his um, cabinet before he finally uh, made the appointment, that he was doing a lot of uh, changes, a lot of reforms going on. And all of these reforms, at the end of the day, they are going to help um, him realize his uh, campaign promise or his agenda, which is mega, making Edo great again. That is his plan for the state. You know, uh, one thing that Obaseki used to win the heart of the people was um, his developmental strides. You know, there's a name he's popularly called in Edo State, um, the Wake and See Governor. The people himself, they are the ones that read his scorecard. You know, what we see with politicians, they are the ones that blow their own trumpet. But it's not meant to be so. It's not meant to be that at all. Uh, the people have to um, speak after they've seen all that um, the government they are doing. If they are happy, they are satisfied. They, are, they, are, they ought to be the people testifying that, yes, this is happening. And that was the case of Governor Gordon Obaseki. We know that was one thing that pulled him through during the Edo governorship election and all of the challenges he faced while, um, still, uh, while he was still part of the All Progressive Congress. The people stood for him. And that was when they stated that... Uh, Wherever you move to, whichever party you go, we'll follow it. That's why we don't care to know which party you're going to. So we knew that time that it was not a case of the party. It was about himself, uh, himself and what he was doing for the state. And the people are happy for him. They're actually happy. If they're not happy, they will not vote him again. They, he will not be re-elected for his second term. And now um, the time is ticking really, really fast. 2024 is not long to go. He's, he doesn't have four years anymore. Funny enough, he's not four years anymore. Um, the election that looks like what happened yesterday. It's not four years anymore. So he's really working um, on a fast um, lane right now to see that he achieve his uh, agenda. 
Obasek has always stated that um, his government is that of inclusion. He will always carry people along. He will always carry everyone along. Let everyone know what he's doing and so that they can play their own role because, you know, he has always uh, maintained that um, he knows very well that he cannot do the job by himself. Only him cannot um, um, do the job and only him cannot meet this agenda of making Edo great again. He needs all hands to be on deck. That was why this party was organized. And um, he is seeking sustained collaboration from all of um, these uh, different groups. All the groups that met, they included uh, um, the Trade Union, Congress, TUC, the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, National Union of Teachers, NUT, and the Joint Negotiating Council, JNC, among other um, groups, among other um, unions that were included. The head of service, he was the one who was speaking on behalf of the government, on behalf of um, Governor Godin Obaseki, that what Obaseki is expecting is that all of them have to put their hands on deck, work together. They're organizing a lot of things, retrainings are going on, and they talked about um, recruitment, recruiting. Um, the best hands, you know, the head of service stated something that, um, let everyone be rest assured that the recent uh, uh, um, employments they just made, the hiring they just did recently, that it was basically strictly on merit so it's not a godfather reason you know obaseki doesn't like that he kicked that away who no man and who no man who knows who that that one will not make the state great it will not move those states anywhere it's strictly based on merit those who have uh, um, the needed experience and the expertise they are the ones that should come on board and they'll be able to perform they'll be able to um, function effectively at the end of the day we'll see results he talked about retrenching workers as well. So all of this is centered around the civil and the public service. You know, he has all, also stated that um, the civil and the public service, they are, they are, this, is, this um, service, they are the ones that hold the states together. If this public and civil service are not functioning well, we know inside the civil and public service, we have teachers there. And we know the role teachers play in our economy, in our society. So if something is really paying close attention to, is working closely with this public and civil service because um, the way they, they perform, that tells um, how the governor is doing. If they are not performing very well, then we know that the governor is not performing as well. And he wants to see that. At the end of the day, he realizes, he achieves his agenda, which is making Edo great again. The people of Edo State are truly expectant. They are waiting and hoping that um, all of this becomes a reality. Well, guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.